Hi, this is Don Wiley. I'm a drone pilot and a resident of the Villages, Florida. And today's video is going to show you some of the construction updates of the work going on here in the Villages. What you're about to watch was shot on Easter Sunday morning. It covered about 32 miles and about an hour and a half of air time, but it's been edited down to about 15 minutes. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see here. I'm coming up from the south here into the village of Monarch Grove. Up ahead is the Swallowtail Neighborhood Recreation Area. This recreation area, unlike ones north of State Road 44, is a little bit larger and has a little bit more green space on each end of it. Up ahead you can see lots that are up for sale now in Monarch Grove. The patio villas that you see aren't up for sale yet, but they should be very, very soon. Next we're coming up on the River Bend recreation area. You can see some pickleball courts, some tennis courts. There's the Rupert Dog Park. We're coming up next on the village of Linden. On the right hand side there's a berm built up to block the sound from the turnpike. It does a very good job. I was down there the other day and you could barely hear the turnpike when you were below the berm, which is where all the houses are. Up ahead is another regional recreation center being built called the Everglades Recreation Center. It's about the same size as the other regional recreation centers. I'll get back to it with some more detail in a few minutes. This is the island that makes up most of the village of Linden. I believe they call it Linden Isle. It's not really an island. It's actually a peninsula, but close enough. The lots here are selling very, very quickly.
the near bridge ahead is extra wide and has the potential, I think, in the future of supporting possible golf cart lanes going across that bridge. This is the River Bend Neighborhood Recreation Area again in the village of Linden. As you can see, it's considerably larger than most neighborhood recreation areas. It has a lot more features to it, a dog park, a fire pit, a resort style pool, and a children's play area. There's been a lot of chatter lately that there's not as many recreation centers or amenities or things to do in the Finney, DeSoto, McClure area as there are in other places of the villages. I'm here to tell you that's not true. All you got to do is look at Spanish Moss or Sugar Cane or now River Bend and you'll see that they're putting a lot more into the amenities, a lot more space, a lot more features. And the number of homes isn't really as great as people think. Let's take a look at some of the actual numbers of homes and recreation centers in the area. First, here's the number of homes. Now the number of neighborhood rec centers. And finally, the number of homes per neighborhood rec center. You can see that they're pretty consistent. If we add in the regional rec centers, the numbers are even closer. The one thing that really changes, though, is the size of the recreation centers. As you can see, things are pretty much on par with the rest of the villages. Here's another look at the Everglades Regional Recreation Center. The new pool, the building itself. It will be interesting to see how they theme the inside of this new Regional Recreation Center. This recreation center is about the same size square footage wise as the Rohan and Eisenhower recreation centers. Obviously there's still a lot of construction going on and a lot left to do. But I have a lot of faith in the villages. They always hold true to their construction schedules. Here's the remote control boat and remote control car areas. They're supposed to be building a soccer and multi-purpose field in this area right here. Here's another quick flyover of the ball fields under construction. And we're going to fly out over the Hog Eye Preserve walking area and nature trails. Another view of the Cattail Recreation Area. This is another neighborhood recreation area, but note the resort style pool. This is the new fire station that's being built on County Road 468. Behind it is going in a new building for additional district services to service the southern end of the villages. This is the villages grows under construction. You can see the size of the large greenhouses that they're building for this. This is the new bridge that's eventually going to go across State Road 44 just south of Brownwood. It's sitting on pillars right now and it'll have to be moved that's going to be an interesting thing to watch. The deck area of this new bridge is about 20 feet wide, which makes it about twice the width of the bridge currently going over US 27 on the historic side of the villages. For safety reasons, I only fly over these construction areas on Sundays. I don't want to be flying over when they're working and possibly injuring a construction worker or causing 
uh, interference with the actual construction process. This is the south pillar that's that's been built already on the south side of State Road 44. You can see they've put the pilings in the ground for the north side pillar. And coming up ahead is the bridge that's already been completed over the pond just south of Groundwood. This view gives you a pretty good idea on how far they're going to have to move this bridge to get it in place. Again, it should be an interesting operation to watch. The new emergency department building is moving along quickly. The construction's trailer is in place. Here's a quick view looking back towards the turnpike. As you can see, not a whole lot's going on back there yet. I'll take a quick fly around for you of the new hotel and hospital that's being built next to Brownwood. Again, for safety reasons, I only fly on Sundays when there's no construction workers working in these areas. This is the construction going on at the lofts of Brownwood and you can see the stairwells going in and an outline of the floor plans going in. And that about wraps it up for this flight. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you again.